In After Effects CS6, working with Adobe Illustrator files is easier and more efficient than ever before. So if you take a look at the composition panel that I have here, you'll see that I have an Illustrator file. And what I'm going to do is right click and choose Create Shapes from Vector Layer. And when I do that, you'll notice that I have complete editability of the fill, the stroke, and of course the stroke width. But what's even cooler, you'll notice that we have all these anchor points. Now, right from within After Effects CS6, I can actually modify the anchor points of this vector shape without having to go into Illustrator itself. This is huge, and this saves an enormous amount of time, and again, truly speeds up your workflow. Now, an extension of that are some new features that we've added to actually extrude text and shapes. So if we come over here, you'll notice we have the same layer. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our 3D option here, twirl down Transform, and I'm going to make some adjustments to the X and Y rotation. Now, you might see that we have a camera and a light applied here as well. So as I adjust the X and adjust the Y, you can see that the camera and the lights are affecting this shape. Taking that a step further, I can twirl down geometry options, go into something like concave, and choose extrusion depth to extrude this object, again, all the while still having editable fill, stroke, and width. But taking that a step further, if I go down to Material Options, now I might want to add something like Transparency. Now, you're not going to be able to see the transparency using the classic Scanline-based 3D renderer. This is where we're going to use the new 3D Ray Traced renderer. And when you do that, what that's going to give you is better-looking physical characteristics, better-looking soft shadows, better light transmission, and better-looking depth-of-field blur, all with an After Effects CS6 so easily right with those Illustrator files.